Uh, obviously, we're excited uh, to be a two seed heading to Washington, I think is uh, a perfect setting for our team. Um, I know that we have worked really hard this season to put ourselves in this position and you know we got the selection today and, and are excited to um, look at the numbers, what we're going to see there, um, take a closer look at the golf course because um, we, we had no idea. We're one of those teams that I think could go anywhere. We're in the central part of the country, you know, we could go to Auburn, we could go to Michigan State, so we weren't really sure where we would get um, shipped to, but uh, really excited about the opportunity opportunity and the challenge ahead. Wasn't OU one of those spots too? Or yeah, Norman, Oklahoma was a, was a, was a spot, uh, Michigan State, Auburn, and, and Washington. Were you hoping to go to Norman or at least Auburn? I mean, obviously we'd love to get in the car and drive over and, and play in Norman or play in Auburn where we played a couple weeks ago, but um, we, we know what this is like this time of year and, and where we were um, in the rankings just put us in a position where, you know, we, we will go west and uh, look forward to the challenge and, and the opportunity ahead of us, and uh, I couldn't ask to do it with a better group of people. Sean, I haven't looked at the list, but are there teams out there that you've met this year, seen, played with? Yeah, yeah, I think Northwestern's there, South Carolina's there, Miami's there. I mean, we've seen, obviously, Southern California. We've seen all of those teams um, this season and feel like uh, we have the best opportunity to go. You know, obviously, we haven't won this year yet, but we have played the fifth toughest schedule in the nation. And I just think that that really prepares us for what we're going to see. And we've seen a lot of good things. We have nine people on our team. We've had nine, you know, all nine of those uh, girls have been in the lineup. And, you know, I, I just feel like we, we are so prepared with the challenge challenges that we've faced this season in our competitions and and feel like um, our you know our opportunity to win a regional is is our best shot. Do you have your lineup in mind yet for this? Yeah, I'm pretty close to um, getting that that synced up. Um, I you know I feel good about the lineup we had at SECs. Um, I think we, we probably will see something very similar um, to that next week. And obviously with Dylan, Kaylee, and, and Maria as three seniors that have been just tremendous leaders on and off the golf course. That um, I know that um, it'll be fun to, to have them and, and to share that those last last month or so with those guys. To follow up on that, Shauna, uh, the way that Maria played, obviously winning and then. Kaylee coming in second, what Brooke Matthews was able to do during match play, uh, that momentum and confidence you have um, and the way that they perform there to, to take with them out to Washington. Yeah, I mean, you look at Brooke Matthews, she's basically a freshman. Obviously, we redshirted her, but she birdied the last three holes at Georgia to win individually to shoot 68 in that qualifying round. And then you look at, as we move into SECs, um, you know, obviously Maria um, was the champion, but Kaylee shoots a 69 on the in the final round in some of the toughest conditions. Um, we shoot the low round of the day, the, the last day um, of stroke play. And then I felt like um, Dylan Kim had a fantastic sort of um, – victory alone and, and just the way that she played. I know she's um, she's been a little down on herself with her golf, but I thought she did a fantastic job at SECs. I feel like we have tremendous momentum and confidence moving through this season. Um, I think, you know, it's a stepping stone. We, we're, our goal is just to win the day. And, and I think they've done a nice job of that and excited about, you know, obviously we have some good golf in our memory bank and, and really excited to take that with us to Washington. As a coach, do you feel extra pressure hosting with Arkansas hosting the Nationals that I mean, I know on paper you, sh you should get back here, but it doesn't always work out that way. Just, just how do you feel about you got to go a thousand, I don't know, a couple thousand miles to get back, back home? Yeah, it's. I think it's over two thousand miles away. But you know what we talked about at the beginning of the season was what NFL team wouldn't want to host a playoff game at home, and you know that that's just. I mean, how, how exciting that is. And, and we, we're really just trying to focus on Washington right now. School is, we're in the middle of finals. We, we have to just take it one day at a time, um, organize ourselves, put a good recovery plan in place for our bodies, and, and you know, go put a plan together in Washington that allows our, our five girls to, to go win a regional title. Actually, it's like you guys are hosting the Super Bowl. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, it's pretty much a Super Bowl. But, I mean, what team wouldn't want that? And, you know, obviously we have to focus on the things that we can control. We talk a lot about process over product, and we got to focus on our process. And, and hopefully at the end of the day we'll get the product that we've been working so hard for. Does having older players like like these ladies does that a big? Uh, I sleep so much better at night um, having those uh, three three seniors um, that have been a staple in our lineup this season, and they're so mature. They have so many tools that they've learned and gained, and I think their experiences will be something that they rely on, and that'll help us uh, accomplish our goals.
So do, do you feel extra pressure personally? No, I mean, you know, what can I do? I always say the hay's in the barn. Like I, I've done my job since August to, and, and through their careers to put them in this situation and, and give them the tools that they need to, to be successful, whether they hit a foul ball on the golf course or, or they get it really deep and under par. So um, I feel like my job as a coach is to, to continue to keep things the same. Um, let's have fun and enjoy each other. And, and I mean, we have four seniors on our team and I'm just really trying to soak in every minute I can with those guys. Shauna, what's it been like uh, to, to see Maria's journey and what she's been able to experience this year um, and then experience some of that that with her and the, and the attention that she's brought to the program? I always say golf is, is so tremendous because it allows you so many amazing experiences and I've had the privilege to coach so many fantastic players um, through my tenure here at Arkansas and you know just to, to be able to share some of those experiences but not only Maria but with Stacy and, and Dylan and Kaylee and and what they've uh, you know the opportunities they've afforded me to, as as their coach and you know to get to go to New York City but to also to get these to see these guys win and, and do things they've never done before it's just um, a really a really fortunate front row seat that I get to have uh, being the being the golf coach here at Arkansas. Yeah and there's a lot of um, chatter after the Augusta women's amateur uh, not just about Maria but about the attention to the sport and how you know this is the future of golf and it really got a lot of national attention what do you think that tournament and maybe Obviously, some of your ladies here are for the future of golf. Yeah, I mean, I look at you know what it was when I played college golf to what it was when I started working here to what it is now and and the growth of the game is unbelievable how good these guys these women are is un, is amazing to watch they hit golf shots I'm like wow like I'm glad I don't I didn't have to play against them and I just think the opportunity to go to Augusta National really allowed the world to see how great they are I see it every day but to really have uh, the, the world recognize that um, women's golf is in a great Great place, and I think we we got to get behind it because it is fantastic to watch. What do you know about the course out there? Not a lot. Um, we've uh, you know we went to Oregon for the national championship. Obviously, the conditions and the grasses we'll f we're familiar with. I was actually looking at online just you know briefly trying to figure out where we might go, um, taking a look at it. it. Looks like a fantastic um, sort of traditional northwest kind of golf course. I know it's at a resort there, kind of in the mountains at about 2,000 feet. So um, we'll have some elevation there. Um, so we'll have to prepare for that. But um, other than that, I mean, we just got to go get go hit the golf white golf ball around and chase it and get it in as few shots as we can like th that's all we can do that's all we can control and we'll create a plan that these guys will, will be successful with I guess as a ball just go farther and, and lighter air and elevation it does it does but fortunately we played at uh, the Mexican amateur over over the holidays and um, that's a little bit of altitude there so the ball goes a little farther in Guadalajara so I think these girls are they're prepared for what they're gonna see um, I think four of our five played in that event that we, you know could potentially be in the lineup and um, I think that they'll be they'll be ready to go is Fayetteville CeeLo? I don't even know. What's he I don't even here? know. That's above my pay grade, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. But you know, we we have we have machines now that we can travel with to help us um, sort of make those adjustments um, that we'll use and, and help us get prepared. All right, thank you. Yeah. So I guess you're really gonna go for it.